Hello friends and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England. And we are coming at you today with a video on a free tool that is available to you uh, to remote view a PC or Mac uh, when you are remote. And this is handy for many purposes. If you own a small business and you are on vacation and you need to get to your PC to update a spreadsheet uh, or to view a file that you cannot view remotely, uh, it's perfect for that. Uh, as a security camera system integrator, uh, it's useful to us if we have a uh, client that got a new computer uh, and they don't have access any longer to their client software to view the cameras. Okay. Of course, we installed it during the installation process on their old PC, but now they have a new one. They can't view their cameras. Walking them through the system on how to download the software uh, how to add hardware to it is sometimes time consuming and problematic. So with TeamViewer, we can log into their PC remotely, download the client software, connect hardware to it, uh, and be done with it very quickly. If you have a security camera system uh, in your home or small business uh, that is not port forwarded or set up to remote view for security purposes, um, this also allows you to log into your computer and to view those things on your local network. Okay, so you can view your cameras remotely using TeamViewer, um, even though they are only networked on your local network. Okay, so it's a very useful free tool. And we're going to cover how to download it and how to use it in this video. So let's get into it. All right, everybody, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content like this. Also like the video if it's useful to you and as always, leave comments. A lot of uh, videos, a lot of this content is based on subscriber and viewer questions and comments. In the description to this video, we also have a link for our members page our members page has monthly meetings where we can discuss topics uh, and I can try to help you with concerns or questions you have. A lot of times we don't have time to address all of the comments we get on our videos. So that's a good time to network and help each other out. So the first thing we are going to do is download the TeamViewer software uh, from their website. It's obviously at teamviewer.com. You'll see the free download link right here. When we click on that, there are a couple of options. The first one is the free version, which we use. They also have upgraded options that you can pay for that offer uh, more features like VOIP video chatting, uh, switch slides, the ability to print remotely, those types of things. Okay, Everything we discussed in this video and the video previously uh, can be done with the free version. So we're going to click download on the free version. Uh, it will give you the option to select your operating system. This is a Windows PC, so we're going to pick Windows. And down at the bottom, there are several options. A lot of people get in the trouble and make the error of downloading Quick Support. And Quick Support will only allow you the ability to receive support. Okay, If you want to be able to uh, provide support and receive support, you need to click the full client. Okay. So if you want to run the software on one computer and view it on another, you need to click the full client. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And it will download. We'll do the default installation. We'll accept the terms so we can run the software. All right, so 
All right, so we have started the client software. It is running on another PC. What we are going to do now is log into that PC remotely uh, so we can see the client software program running on it. We actually have security cameras displayed on that uh, monitor that we are assessing remotely. So what we're gonna do, um, this sometimes throws people off, okay? Uh, you would by tendency think that you enter the code for the other computer here. Okay, that's actually not the case. You need to create a free team viewer sign in, okay, to view something remotely. And I've already done that, so I will log in here. There is a verification process, so it takes a second. I apologize for that. Go on to your password. Okay, and now we can enter the partner ID. The first time you do that, the first time you create an account, I was hoping that would do it so you would see it, but it's going to send a verification uh, email to the email that you give it as a login. Uh, and you'll have to verify for security purposes that team viewer can have access to your PC. Okay. Uh, so now we'll enter the partner ID. And as you see, it will ask us for the password instead of giving us that uh, error message. So let me put that in. All right, and as you can see, here are our security cameras on the other computer. And you can double click on the boxes to enlarge the picture, just like you're on that PC. Right. If we want to get rid of live view and do some playback, we can even do that on here. OK, it's just like you are on the PC terminal. So as you can see, it's a great tool. It's not too difficult to set up uh, and it's definitely a it's an invaluable resource that's available to you for free. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.